Big crab. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Tommy Tech Outdoors. Today I'm going to be going on my very last crabbing trip of the year. But this is the first time I'm crabbing out of my 2019 Kobe Outback. If you're new to my channel and you like fishing, crabbing, kayaking, boating, or just spending quality time with family and friends outdoors, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscribe button below and clicking that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. As you can see here, my line went out pretty smoothly because I didn't have anything on the right for it to get stuck on. If you'd like to see my full crabbing setup, click the link above. Alright guys, I got my line deployed, so I'm going to let it soak for a little bit. And then, uh, I'm going to go ahead and run it. But as I'm going back, I'm got a rod here so I can uh, do a little bit of trolling on the way back to see if, if there's any fish in here. I did see a nice fish bust up there, so hopefully it's a rocky or something, so, but we'll see. Big crab. One thing to note here when I scooped that crab is that it really turned my kayak. And uh, I tried to use my reverse to quickly uh, adjust, but I ended up pulling out my paddle so I could adjust quickly and continue to run my line. I never had this right problem into. on my old Outback, so this might be one of the things I have to adjust to with the new 2019 Outback. So I got my uh, that was Martin on the radio. Yeah, so I got Martin over there. He's uh, he's got 600 feet of line over there, and I got my buddy Teddy over there. He's running 600 feet of line. Uh, so Martin's way back in that little cove. He's about. I think 11-ish feet to about eight. And then Teddy's over there in a little bit shallower water, about eight feet or so. And I'm probably in the deepest between 10 and 12 feet. All right, this is the uh, second run on the line. So let's see how we do. We got one on the first one. We got a giant one on the first one. So hopefully we can get a couple of those guys. So we'll see. As you can see here, I had to adjust using my paddle again, because when I scooped, it turned to my kayak. That is almost the same spot. Alright guys, so I'm uh, checking on uh, Martin and Teddy. Between all of us, we all at least have some crabs, but definitely late in the season and uh, grabbing isn't so great right now but you know I had to at least give it a try to you know see if they're here but looks like they're really not and most of them probably headed out already this is really slow 
It is slow. But they're giant still as ever. Yeah, they're big. It's Huge. Yep. If I could get a dozen of those, I'd be happy. That's what we were just saying. Yeah. We were just saying that. Catch anything? Any, any hits? I got a little hit. I don't know what it was. Okay. I saw marks all over. Yeah, there's some, there's some. I saw some big splashes up that way. Yeah, there was some splashes around me, around my bait. Yeah. I was like, no cow nose rays around here right now. Yeah. So. <laughs> Oh yeah, two yeah. nice crabs. Nice. You know, How many you got in there? Two. Just two, but I mean they're big. Yep. Mine's like in it. the white bucket. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. Pull it up. Yeah, those are nice too. Yep. It's nice you don't have to measure them. No, you don't. Have and to you can see them because they're so freaking big. Yep. Exactly. System. All right, guys, you can see the conditions have changed quite a bit. Wind's picking up, and uh, crabbing's actually really tough. Um, I actually didn't expect to be doing that well today, but I thought I'd catch, you know, at least a dozen or so. But uh, right now, I only have three crabs. Uh, you can hear the wind's picking up, sorry if you can't hear me, but uh, so I'm gonna run this line one more time and if uh, there are no crabs, I'm actually gonna pack it in and uh, maybe go find a place to go buy some crabs. Ten seven. We run one more time, that was a big one. The thing this time of year the crabs are huge um really lethargic too because this water's getting cold uh but i think if i had come out maybe a week or two earlier i'd catch a nice uh basket of um big crabs uh, i just got another big one so i may run it one last time and that's it yeah that's why i'm running it one last time <laughs> Alright guys, so this is what we have. We got four giant crabs. Crabbing is really tough right now. Um, it is really towards the end of the season, but I really wanted to crab in my new 2019 Hobie Outback just to see how, how well it would work for me. Um, so I'm gonna run my line probably one last time just because I caught uh, that big one you can see right on top. See if I get at least one more, then I'll pack it in and uh, call it a day. So I caught one more crab on that last run, but conditions were getting worse as you can see here. So I decided to pull my line and call it a day. So today uh, crabbing was pretty tough. Um, it's actually quite cold now. Uh, it's probably the tail end of when you'd actually want to go crabbing because it's getting a little bit too cold to be out there. Um, the wind picked up, so um, it wasn't too great out there after that wind started blowing. Um, but I did uh, catch a couple crabs. Um, caught only five but they're all pretty huge as you can see these guys here this guy is humongous um, so I'm actually gonna do a, a uh, catch and cook so um, stay tuned for the future video on that uh, I'm just gonna show you how to cook a couple of these um, giant crabs you know if you only buy a couple of crabs show you how to cook them in a smaller pot than uh, you know a bigger um, pot when you cook a bushel which there'll be a video on that too, so um, stay tuned for that video as well. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.